You look up at the night sky and see nothing. Okay, well, it's not nothing. You see stars, but not nearly enough. If the universe is filled with endless stars in every direction, why isn't the sky blazing with light? That's just one of many cosmic riddles that are still waiting for an answer. Hmm. Why do black holes delete information? Why can't the universe agree on how fast it's expanding? Yeah, these paradoxes break rules so much that it feels like they're breaking reality itself. The universe is endless, right? Just stars on stars on stars stretching out into infinity. Well, if that's the case, then how come the night sky isn't lit up like Times Square on New Year's Eve? That's the heart of Olbers' paradox, named after 19th century astronomer Heinrich Olbers. He wasn't the first to notice the problem, but he made it famous by basically asking, if there are stars in every direction, shouldn't the whole sky be glowing? You might think they're just too mm. far, but in an endless universe, every direction should eventually hit a star, and all that faint light should add up. So why the darkness? Maybe the answer is that the universe isn't infinite in time. It had a beginning, the Big Bang. That means light from the most distant stars hadn't had enough time to reach us yet. And the light that has been traveling for billions of years? It's been stretched out so much by the expanding universe that it's now invisible to our eyes. So that pitch black sky? It's not empty. It could be that it's full of light. We just can't see. Maybe it's a clue. A sign that the universe has a beginning. A history that we have yet to uncover. All right, so space is darker than it should be. But you know what's even weirder? It's also way too quiet. You probably wondered about this since elementary school. Okay, the universe is massive. There are billions of stars with planets orbiting them. And a bunch of those planets should be kind of like Earth. Which means extraterrestrials, right? So, where are they? This is what we call the Fermi Paradox. Back in the 1950s, physicist Enrico Fermi sat down and asked himself this very question. There are no signals from outer space. No laser beams, no weirdly coded messages. Nothing. It's not like we haven't tried to say hello. In 1974, scientists used the giant Arecibo radio telescope to beam a binary coded message into space. It included stuff like our DNA structure, a stick figure of a human, and even Earth's location in the solar system. And since sound can't travel in space, what we actually sent were radio waves traveling at the speed of light. The message is heading to a star cluster 25,000 light years away. So even if those little green men hmm. pick it up the moment it arrives, the earliest we could get a response is in about 50,000 years. Okay, that's pretty far into the future. But wait, if we're out here sending signals, isn't it possible someone else did the same, like 150,000 years ago or 500,000? Shouldn't something have reached us by now? Some extraterrestrial TikTok, at least? The answer could be that we're the first technologically advanced civilization. Perhaps intelligent civilizations vanish with their stars. Or maybe they're not as friendly as we are. And they've been avoiding us for a reason. Here's a nerdy one. Maybe they're out there, but we're just not listening the right way because it's not us being advanced enough. What if extraterrestrial civilizations communicate using something completely different from what we do? Like quantum entanglement or some exotic tech we haven't even dreamed of yet. Or maybe they exist in a form we can't even comprehend. Anyway, let's move from the silence of space to its most terrifying feature, black holes. You've probably heard the basics. Black holes are regions of space where gravity is so intense that not even light can escape. But here is an interesting theory. Black holes might be breaking one of the most sacred rules in all of physics. It's called the black hole information paradox. And this one made my brain hurt. In quantum physics, there's a rule. Information can't vanish. Not diary secrets, but the data describing every particle's position, spin, and motion. The whole essence, so to speak. Even if you destroy something, like burning a book to ash, the atoms and energy are still around. And in theory, big emphasis on theory, if you had super advanced tools, you could still figure out what was written in that book based on the particles and energy left behind. 
But when something falls into a black hole, a star, a spaceship, a giant pizza, whatever, it disappears behind the event horizon. And then, over time, the black hole itself slowly evaporates by releasing tiny bits of energy called Hawking radiation. Here's the problem. Hawking radiation dribbles out like random static, carrying no obvious hint of what the black hole swallowed. And if the black hole disappears completely and that information never comes out, it's like the universe just deleted the file with no backup. That breaks the no information loss rule. Some scientists think the information might be hidden in the radiation, but scrambled in a way we don't understand yet. Others think it gets imprinted on the surface of the black hole. And some say, maybe we've got something fundamentally wrong about how the universe works. Before we figure out that one, let's pull back from black holes and take a wider look at the universe itself. Because even the way it's expanding doesn't seem to add up. This one is called Hubble Tension. And it's not about drama between scientists. It's about a simple question. How fast is the universe expanding? Now, this should be easy to measure, right? For people good at math, I mean. Turns out, scientists have two ways. One looks at the early universe using the glow left over from the Big Bang. The other checks how fast galaxies are moving today by watching exploding stars. Except here is something funny. Those two numbers don't match. You'd think maybe it's just a measuring glitch, like, oops, forgot to carry the one, but nope. It's more like checking the speed limit sign and then pointing two radar guns at the same car, and both showing vastly different results. This cosmic disagreement might mean that dark energy, the thing driving the expansion of the universe, is changing over time. Or that there's some secret ingredient baked into the early universe we haven't discovered yet. Either way, the universe seems to be expanding in a way that breaks our models. So it's possible we're missing something big. Or that reality is playing by guidelines we haven't written down yet. All right, we've talked about how black holes might erase information. However, there's something just as weird. What if things in the universe don't decide what they are until you look at them? That's basically the idea behind the observer effect. Imagine you're tossing tiny balls at a wall with two holes in it. You'd expect each ball to go through one hole or the other, right? But if those balls are actually particles, like photons or electrons, something weird happens. If no one's watching, they act more like waves, and they go through both hmm. holes at the same time. But the moment you try to watch them, they stop doing that. They choose one hole and act like regular balls again. It's as if reality holds its breath until we look, then locks in what it is. But were they? Or did our act of looking force the decision? Nobody's really sure. However, that's not all. We didn't even have time to get into the time symmetry paradox, where the math says time should flow both ways. But in real life, it only marches forward. Or the cosmic horizon paradox, which asks how far apart regions of the universe, too far to ever communicate, somehow ended up looking exactly the same. Or the simulation hypothesis, which, yeah, let's just say that one deserves its own video. These paradoxes aren't just cool thought experiments. They're clues, little cracks in the surface of reality. And that's what makes it so exciting. See you next time. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.